right. Who's ready to get themselves a job? What, that's not a great sales pitch? Well, anyway, we're playing Job Island Hardworking People. I think it's known as Help Wanted. Yeah, I know the battery charge is running low. Oh, f It's good that I have a big pack of batteries for just in case things like that happen, but I swear that one day I'm just gonna forget. I wanna start this from scratch, mainly because the last time I played this was 10 years ago. Let's go through the employment office. Time to go through IRD and get ourselves a fucking job. Sir, the meteor's orbit has it headed straight for Earth. This is tragic. We're all gonna die thanks to a fucking meteor. Once word gets out, we'll have a global panic on our hands. So, Kate, what are we doing today? Well, Mr. President, starting at 9 a.m., you have 24 meetings. All about the race and otaku surge. That's all well and good, but... What I meant was, how about joining me for a moonlit walk this evening? You have 24 meetings to get to. I don't think you have time. Let's, uh, just focus on work today, sir. I am your assistant, after all, and you do have a wife. What's gotten into you? Can't you see I'm trying to seduce my hot, um... I would say... Assistant, but could be different if you weren't calling. <laughs> yeah, they're facing a meteor strike. A meteor? Did you hear that, Kate? We've got a real problem. Hurry over to the picnic place and pick up a couple of lunches. Now's not the time. Lunch can wait. The Earth cannot. I can't kick the bucket till I've had that date with you. <laughs> He's really trying his luck. <laughs> the first bit was just like, yeah, I'm gonna use my charm. And then when he hears about the media, just like, come on, we're going on a date, bitch! I'll get the lunches, but there'll be no dates there. Damn it! Don't you, can't you tell we're going to die, Kate? I can't die a virgin! Oh, never mind. Everybody in NASA is now dead. That didn't take long, so, um, game over? Sir, was that a piece of the media that broke off just now? Oh, so... Okay, if that was a piece of the media, then that means that it's less powerful, which means it might only destroy 80% of the Earth. We might be able to save, like, Zimbabwe or something. Family's greatest pastime was buying stuff from the TV shopping network. Why? It's cheap shit over there. This is the type of family that the TV shopping channels aim for, those ones that will pick up the phone every time they see something that they might need, but will never use after they get it. Enemies of humankind and attacks on the planet Earth getting you down? We've been there, that's why you need this Transformer watch. Okay. It provides peace of mind, even when you're up against powerful foes. This will let anyone transform into a giant superhero! Now even you can be Captain America! Yeah! Isn't it your turn to become the coolest hero around? Or you could be like Homelander and abuse it! Yeah! Or just be like Omni-Man and murder every other superhero on the planet! With the Transformer Watch! Get it now! I know what you're thinking, this product can't come cheap! Yeah, because even though you might die sometime, we're gonna charge you shitloads for it. Because as you know, life ain't cheap. Cool, mom, we want that. No, it's mine, you little shits. What are you talking about? So there's five kids. Holy crap. Wait, so there's grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, and five kids. There's nine people living in this house. And this is living in a mansion. It's gonna be pretty crowded. You gotta laugh at the crazy stuff they sell sometimes. Why are you watching it then, Dad? <laughs> Go and watch something more important, like, oh, I don't know. Anything else. I'm off to observe Geezer's Comet. Anybody care to join me? Geezer's Comet? Oh, the one you discovered, eh, Pops? You stare at that thing just about every day. <laughs> It keeps me alive inside. It makes me realize that I could be up there in the stars instead of in a loveless marriage living in a small one bedroom apartment with nine other people. What good little children you are, Ad and Fran and Stad. Yeah, we kind of ran out of names to call you, so we just ride them together. I don't even know which one Ad, Fran and Stad is. Does it look bigger than yesterday or is it just... Oh wait, no, it's Maya. Does it look bigger than yesterday, or is it just me? I'm trying to make Maya sound like the old man. Ha <laughs> ha Don't be silly! If it were any bigger, we'd be in real trouble! 
Actually, I think I can see part of it coming for us. <laughs> and that was the end of whatever the fuck this family was called. Maya, Tom, what's with Gramps? <laughs> he went to look at his comet and he never came back downstairs. <laughs> You just hear Gramps upstairs, just like, we're all gonna die! Yep, there he is. We'll come up with something. You will? Excellent. Go to the job office and get yourself some jobs, kids! I know you're only 10 years old, but child labor isn't legal here! Or it is! Yeah, it isn't! It may be! Just go get a job! So we have a week to destroy a meteor. Brilliant! I love those odds already. But how are we going to save the world anyway? Smash the meteor? I don't think. I know, that thing on the TV shopping network yesterday. That, that's a weird thing. If the TV shopping network is selling something that could destroy a meteor and save the world, then why would the government not just steal- God damn it. Why would the government not just take that Transformer watch from the TV shopping network? It's my old work uniform. You were a firefighter? Now you can take on the firefighter job. I don't think that's safe for a 10 year old child. Imagine a 10 year old child appearing in a firefighter's jacket to a fire. Just like, I'm here for work, sir. Uh, are you sure? That's not safe at all. I'm ready to go. Okay. You can take on the courier job. Wait a minute. How many gaudy suit? How many jobs did Gramps do? And why are they all in female sizes? Tailor's suit. Now you can take on the tailor job. Oh yeah, you know how to do a ta- you know how to be a tailor now. And you know how to interview people. Stage crew? Take on the lighting crew job. Oh no, don't tell the 10 year old to rig up a lighting rig or else it'll fall on the performers. Still, how many jobs did grandpa have? Somebody should tell grandpa that when you leave a job, you have to hand the uniform back in. You can't just keep it under your bed for your grandkids to use. Now you can get to work as early as tomorrow. Tomorrow? The fate of the world rests on your job skills, you know. <laughs> so go and fight those fires, Maya, and come back with the money. I don't give a shit if you don't come back alive. You need to get us money. Fuck. Rest up tonight so you can wake up ready for action. Yeah! Child labor! Okay, I guess I'm sleeping in Grandpa's bed. Unless Grandpa was keeping his work uniforms under my bed. Let's go online and see if there are any job postings today. Today? What is this? The Great Depression? You have to like apply for a job, then you have to wait to get an interview, then you have to hope that you nail the interview. And then you've got to set a time to start, which usually is two weeks. By that time, we're already shish kebab because of the meteorite. Hi, I am your discount clown for today. Let's juggle. Oh, fuck. You were supposed to throw it. Great. 40 bucks. Morning, Maya. Tom, how'd work go yesterday? Terribly. I can't juggle worth a fuck. Yeah, I'm still convinced that this is just... The meteor is just something in his head and that he's just forcing his kids to work because like it's a family of nine and the parents are already struggling. Also, what do the parents think about this situation? Do they know that grandpa is just sending the kids off to work? Still though, it's still weird to me that this 10 year old kid is just lugging around a heavy amount of firefighting gear. Also, who would allow this? What is with Japan's labor laws? Get out of the way you fucking idiot! I thought I was the kid! Ah, oh, you... Can I please just hit the fu fucking move? Oh, crud. Give me my tank. Give me my tank. Fatso. There's still a fire. Can you fuck off? I only earned three bucks. This firefighting service is absolute bullshit. I would have more money if these people didn't fucking walk in my way being like, Oh, hey, there's a fire! Psh why the sudden rush for a job? Are you saving up for something? Yeah, we're saving up for your plastic surgery, Mom. You look cracked. It's nice to know that Mom is supportive of us getting a job when we're supposed to be going to school. I'm pretty sure this is a bad thing if kids are, like, leaving school in order to get a job. Take my interview, you fucking wanker! Oh, wait, now. Good. Got him. I only need a few comments from you. Move, you fucking bitch! <laughs> I need comments! Quickly! 
Comment on something that I'm asking you about. I don't even know what I'm asking you about. Wait, are they giving more interview opportunities down here? Hey! Fucking talk to me! It's fine. I'm doing okay. Relatively. Fucking dog! How are you able to bark at me over a hedge? Here's your package. Now can you please get the dogs off the premises? So I don't get eaten. So right, I'm gonna protect the whole family. Or, you know, you could like throw Anne Fran and Stan in front of the meteor because like three yet less kids in the family would actually help the family. Because like there's nine of you under a roof. And get the- Ah, I was just off. I'm just gonna miss him, but I'm not gonna miss her. I missed her. Go again! I know you just saw me before, but I need to get that extra eight bucks in so I can feed my family. Please be scared. <laughs> Turns out that you don't actually need to work every day. Yeah, no fucking shit. We work six days a week. <laughs> Grandpa, there needs to be days off at some point. You can choose to go home from the fine work screen whenever you like. I wonder... Did Grandma give Grandpa, like, a kick in the ass and just tell them, like, You made them work six days a week! <laughs> but it's for the greater good! <laughs> tell them that they don't need to work six days a week, you fucking maniac! Going home means you take the day off, but isn't that wasteful? And that's why I never told you. Yeah, because you're a terrible grandfather. Taking a day off won't do anything to slow down the meteor. We've got to keep working, because we're fucking masochists. Well, this is really enforcing that worker's spirit and you just like, you don't want to leave your job. You want to keep working for the greater good, right, punk? Ah, it's everybody's favorite crack addict, Barry. This guy with a green mustache hosts the Uniform Channel. The more uniforms you buy, the more jobs you can try. Did you know that? That's not how it works. You can't fucking rock up to the police station in a police uniform and say, I'm here to save the city. <laughs> ah, here we go. This is the support channel. This is the channel for you depressed people out there that need someone to talk to. <laughs> you won't get anyone to talk to. We'll just tell you to buy this toy boat. Ta-da! That's our transport. Is it five million? Where am I supposed to find five million? Wait. It's also in a cryptocurrency! You can't use money, you have to buy points! This is a scam! And how do we have zero points? I thought we checked this thing every day! You have to buy shit on the other channels, just so you can use more points to... So are you supposed to buy the other things on the other channels with real money, then use the points on the point channel? The only way to buy points so we're completely pointless, just like watching this channel! Ha ha ha, then why do you watch it, Gramps? Look, that's like someone who watches Keeping Up With The Kardashians being like, Ha, huh, this show is so pointless! Then why are you into season 5? B -b because it's so pointless! If it was so pointless, you wouldn't watch it. I have a bad feeling we have to go through the whole Transformer Watch bullshit again because uh, I didn't deduct our point. Never mind. I'll do that some other time. Adios.